In Turkey, police use water cannons and tear gas against thousands of protesters who gathered in Taksim Square over the weekend to remember those killed in earlier clashes. The Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan defended the police actions before a crowd of his supporters. Yesterday, they once again attempted to occupy the square. Police showed patience until some point. They made a series of warnings, but when the crowd refused to leave, the police had to disperse them. Sunday's pro-government rally was the latest of several called by Erdogan amidst weeks of anti-government protests that began with objections to the raising of an Istanbul park. Protests also continued in the capital, Ankara, where police used water cannons and tear gas Saturday night. Protests are continuing in Brazil after more than a million people marched in historic demonstrations last week. Tens of thousands took to the streets across Brazil over the weekend as part of a sweeping nationwide movement against government corruption, inequality, failing public services, police brutality and government spending on the 2014 World Cup and the 2016 Summer Olympics. Brazil is currently hosting the Confederations Cup soccer tournament, seen as a precursor to the World Cup. Roughly 100,000 people marched in Rome, Italy, Saturday to protest crippling austerity measures and soaring unemployment during a rally organized by Italy's three largest union groups. Unemployment in Italy recently hit a record high of 12 percent. More than 40 percent of people under the age of 24 are jobless. Union leaders and workers demanded action from the government. We are here this morning to say that our country needs fast answers to allow us to get over this crisis. Finally, we have found a way to be united on all the fundamental issues, those of reforms, work, violence against women, and to battle together on this.